Hey coach, welcome back to our channel. If you are brand new here, make sure and hit that subscribe button below. This way you can stay updated with all the newest videos we have coming out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And if you're a serious coach and you need some help, click on this button here. If you wanna take your business to the next level, that's gonna be a great resource for you to check out after you get done watching this video. Now in today's video, it's very simple. If you are someone who is shy, you don't like to network, you don't like to market yourself, I'm gonna share really my story about how it was for me, and then we're gonna focus in on some actionable steps that you can take. This way you can start to become a better marketer and you can network more with parents and those who have influence over kids in your community. And I know back in 2002, let's see here, 2009, that was a year I just graduated college. I did not feel confident and comfortable speaking to parents marketing my program, networking with others, and I very quickly realized, you know what, if I don't overcome this obstacle, well, I'm not gonna be in business, and I'm not gonna be able to do the thing that I love doing, which is coaching kids. Very early on, I realized that, and I knew that in order for me to get good at that, I had to get outside my comfort zone and know that, all right, parents have to know who I am. They have to know, like, and trust me before they buy from me, and the way that I do that is I have to get in front of them constantly over and over and over again. But again, for someone who is shy like me, that was really difficult at the beginning stages. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it and how you can do this, it's very simple. This way you have confidence doing it and you can get more eyeballs on your program. Step one is we need to think about the kids that you want to train, where are they coming from? And I, and I mean, like, what part of town are they in? What organizations do they play with? Who has influence over these kids? Obviously, it's their parents. But if we think on a deeper level, it's going to be whoever is the, at the top of these organizations. And I'm just going to use the YMCA, for example. Very easy, easy example. The YMCA has a soccer league. And the soccer league has, is consisted of kids and parents. I'm going to go first to whoever's running that soccer league and say, hey, I'd like to run a free camp for the YMCA. I'd love to help out these kids. I'm not gonna charge anything. I wanna do this for free, yada, 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 all right? Now, I go to the person at the top. That person at the top has influence over everyone at the bottom, which is the parents and the kids. And I know the person at the top is gonna have the emails, phone numbers, everything that I possibly need from the YMCA, the person at the top has it. And what I can do at that point is just focus on a one-on-one -on -one relationship between me and the guy or the girl at the top. And at that point, when I establish that bond, when they understand how much I wanna help, they're going to want to promote me without me having to do it. Because I focus on the person who has the greatest influence over the kids and the parents. That's the only person I care about. At that point, when I go put on that free camp, well, now I can meet all of these parents who want to meet me rather than me going out to try to meet them and feel uncomfortable, I know that's very difficult to do. Still for me, at this present moment, that's still hard to do. So again, I'm gonna go to the very top and look to network and give that organization something. And in return, they are feeding me clients at that point. If I do that over and over and over again with every single type of organization that has kids that I can potentially train, then there's never going to be a shortage of clients, no matter how shy I am. And that is something I know you can do. And this would be a great goal to set in 2019. I feel like it's very easy, but just go on Google and type in youth sports organizations, your city, and go through every single one of those. Most cities have multiple sports organizations or club teams or rec teams, whatever it is you wanna specialize in. At that point, you go set up a Google Doc, and it's gonna, you're just gonna find all the ones that you see online, and one by one, go put it on your Google Doc, and look to connect with every single one of those presidents or directors of training of all those organizations. And I know if you did that once a month, every single month you could have a free camp, and ultimately by the end of the year, you can get in front of hundreds of kids by just connecting with one person at a time because at that point they have all the influence over all the parents and kids that you would ever want to train okay again just go to google have that set up 
look to make the relationships. <clears throat> and I know to me this, if we, if we really broke this down, talking to 12 people of influence is not difficult to do over the course of a year. That just requires you picking up the phone, calling them or going into their office, speaking to them to, uh, directly about what it is that you can help them with. And again, this is not about asking them for clients. This is about going and showing them and giving them a giving hand, showing them exactly how you can help them. Otherwise, they're never gonna want to do a, a free camp or clinic with you.